Hey guys, what's up? Rajat here from VFX World. Welcome back to my channel. Hope you guys are doing absolutely fine. In this video, I'll talk about this amazing visual effects compositing technique inside of After Effects. And as I always say, without wasting any time, then let's get started. <laughs> So guys, right now we're in After Effects and this is the most latest version and uh, I have three outputs. The first one is this and second one is this one and the third one is this one. I'll show all these three in part by part. So let me start with this one. So guys, this is the basic footage and if you are looking for this footage, link is in description box below. So guys, right now we have this footage and we have to rotoscope this screen area. So I already done this before. So let's import that rotoscoped part. So this is our basic alpha, which I rotoscoped from Silhouette software. And this is a basic rotoscoping. And now we have to do something really interesting. We have to cut out with this alpha from this footage. So turn on this and from here, from none, you have to click this alpha mat. So when you click this, what happened? Only this much area is right now visible. Rest of the part is completely cut it out. So now what you have to do, you just have to select this and we have to control or D or from here, edit, duplicate. So now what happened? We have two inputs. Now drag and drop to the below layer and then right click and rename it BG. So this will be our BG and select these two and then right click and then pre-compose. And from here, you just renaming and it's like a FG. So this will be your foreground. Now press OK. So now what happened? This is your FG and this is your BG. Now whatever you will do, you have to do this under these two layers. So now what happened? Just double click here. You have this one inside of this pre-composition. So now go back here and we have to 3D track this much area. Now turn off this BG layer. So now we have this one only. Then we have to 3D track this one. Next, after done this 3D track, we have these 3D markers. The track is happening really well. So now we have to create our basic solid layer and a 3D camera. So just select all these points, something like roughly, and then right click. And before click this create solid and camera, you have to click this set ground plane and origin. So that means this area will be your ground plane. Just click here and after that, right click and then create solid and camera. So now the solid is created. Let's scale it down a little bit and you can check by pressing zero. Now make sure always this FG layer should be top of this every layer. So now we have this FG layer top of this. So now double click here, go inside of this pre-composition. And now before doing anything from here, you just have to change this from alpha mat to alpha inverted mat. So now what happened, this will be your basic frame. So now go back. Now whatever is there, it feel like it's inside of your phone. Now you have to create another solid layer, new solid and name it like E3D for element 3D and then just press OK. After that, we have to apply element 3D from FX panel and we have to jump into element 3D. Inside of element 3D, we are using for this metropolitan pack. So from here, open your metropolitan pack and select this metropolitan 156 layers and you have this multiple buildings. You can choose whatever you want to use. In my case, I'm using only this two. This is street layout one and this is street layout zero two. So just click first one. Now we have this one. Now this is full of texture, but in this case, we are not using this texture one, but you can use it's completely up to you. But make sure whatever you will create, it should be from alignment from bottom to top. So it means everything should be under this grid because this grid will be calculated as your basic phone screen. Otherwise your three dimensional effect will not pop up. Now we have to create another one, which is the street layout two. Now, same thing we have to from alignment and make it to the top. Now we have to adjust this position. So I'm dragging it and dropping it from here. Now what you can do, you can make these two in a center way. So from here, go to top. Now this one is in top and select both of these by pressing shift and select this move tool and make it to the center, something like that. Now go to perspective again. So now whatever you have, it's in completely center. Now we don't need this texture. So come from here, go to preset, go to physical view. And from here, I'm using this wireframe glass. So double click here. So now what happened, this glass is applied here and it's look like completely holographic kind of thing to make a proper phone fake reflection, you have to from here, go to create, make a new plane. The plane should be on this below ground level and then just scale it up as much as you can, something like bigger. 
and after that we have to apply this glass material to this plane so double click here now it's applied now this is not a proper refractive surface to make it refraction just open it from here and increase the intensity of reflection little bit more to reflect something on the phone screen and go down here and you can see this is advanced blending option from here normal it should be screen now you can turn this off now to make sure there are nothing will be visible in left or right direction we just have to select both of this and we have to copy this so just from here we are copying it in multiple times so now what happened the phone will be rotate in left to right direction there will no blank space will be visible here you can use multiple other buildings for this kind of thing otherwise you can use the same building is not a big deal now you can change your reflection environment from here i'm selecting from here the studio blurred so double click here now all you can see the reflection is changed now i'm increasing the reflection little bit so that you can see when the phone will rotate the reflection will feel like exactly a phone screen now when you're happy with it all just press ok now the element 3d layer is here so just turn off this png background from here and after that we have to drag and drop it to under this fg layer so now what happened it feel like it's under this phone screen now turn off this track solid layer and we have to adjust their positions now from here just go to group one go to particle replicator and then just make it to zero by zero so now what happened it's in completely center now for the basic information i'm just make it to quarter and you can play it for one time to see the exact happening or not so now you can see the three dimensional fill is completely here now to make it more precise you can rotate the things here so now i'm making it to from quarter to full and now you can see this is a really awkward looking so now what you can do you have to go to rotation value and make it to like minus 15 so now it's rotated something like that now if you wish you can scale it up from here particle look and you can scale it something like 20 so now it will increase something like that now it's completely up to you that you want to scale it up or not now we have to create a phone screen to feel like it's exactly inside of a phone to create a phone screen you just have to select this track solid layer turn this on now to make it top here and after that go to this project panel and we have to import our screenshot so this is our basic screenshot which is exactly same screenshot from my phone which i captured in this input so now to replace this two with this track solid layer just go to the composition layer select both of this and press alt select and drag it something like that so now what happened these two positions are replaced so now the screenshot is in same exact space now you have to rotate it now to make it faster i'm just turn off this element 3d layer and now press R for rotation and I'm rotating it something like that. So all position settings is completely done. Now if you notice this is green and I'm just click here, right click, FX panel, I'm selecting keying from here and I'm selecting this key light 1.2. This is a basic keying process to so select this dropper and make it to something like that. Now if you notice this area is right now out of the screen. Now you have to cut it out. To make this happen, we just have to double click this FG layer and simply click here to control C to copy this alpha and go back to your main composition and after that control V here. So now we have this alpha again. Turn this on and from here none to alpha mat. So now what happened? This area is right now cut it out. Now we have our own screen here. Now you can turn on this element 3D layer. Now if you notice when your phone is rotating, you can exactly see some cool reflections on it because I already have applied a proper screen here. Now to make it more precise, we have to click some more details. Now select all these two, right click and pre-compose and move all attributes to a new layer and rename it like S C R W E N, which means screen and then just press OK. Now after that, it will show like this, just simply click this option so it will calculate as a normal layer so now what happened i'll apply a small 3d shadow so just click here and type a shadow and i'm adding this drop shadow to here and to, if you notice it's feel like it's under this everything so now i'm increasing the distance to something like eight and making the softness to something like this now it feel like it's really happening really good way after everything will done it will completely see like this now coming to this output, the all rest of the position, rest of the settings are same, but I did something really interesting. So I'll show you this. In this composition, what I did, I have this amazing star system. So just double click on this star system. So if you notice, I already have the star system in multiple depth. And this is a basic, simple creation of matte painting. And after when you create this multiple depth, I have added some glow and 
drop shadow so if you turn off this drop shadow you can see this glow and all is everything is completely basic simple composition so after when you done everything it will completely look like this now talking about this third one which is the really my favorite one which is a infinity depth so this is also done that same process but the depth is created in a little more different way so when you go to this layer i have this many layers if you notice there are so many layers now to create a proper depth i did a simple trick so this is the first layer when you press t the opacity should be 100 and when you go the second one if you see this is 90 the third one is 80 fourth one is 70 so this is the way to create a proper infinity depth so it means the last one is a 10 and when you create after this when you apply a proper camera depth of field it will look something amazing so guys this is the three different different way that you can create this amazing render visual effects compositing inside of your after effects and i hope you really really enjoy my this video and if yes then don't forget to like this video also you can dislike it's completely up to you and before leaving this video you have to click the subscribe button and for more notification you have to press this bell button now if you still not follow us on our social media handles like facebook instagram linkedin and twitter all links are in description box below and guys very soon i'll be coming back with more interesting content tutorials and all till then have fun stay healthy and keep rocking keep watching vfx world